Hello students, welcome back to our channel General Learnings. In this video, you are going to learn the word problem of division. Let us start now. Here they have given 48 donuts were distributed among three groups. How many donuts did each group get? So before starting this word problem, First, we need to know when we are going to divide a number. If something is like distributed, shared or grouped equally or if they have given uh, the value of many quantities and we have to find the value of one quantity means that time we should divide a number. Here in this example, they have given the hint as distributed. So, we are going to Divide a number. So, for that first we need to write the statement. So, 48 donuts were distributed. So, total number of donut is 48. And then it is distributed among 3 groups. So, number of group is 3. Now, we are going to find the how many donuts did each group get. So, Donuts with each group. For that we are going to find the division which is 48 divided by 3. Let us start now to solve this division. For that we should write the division as it is. Here 48 is a dividend and 3 is a divisor. So first we need to divide 4 by 3. For that we need to check the multiplication table of 3 to check whether 4 is coming or not. So the table tells us 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. Since 6 is greater than 4 we should not take that. So we should use 3 1s are 3. So write 3 1 in the quotient and write 3 below 4 and then draw a line and we need to subtract. So subtract 3 from 4 we get 1. Now bring down the next number 8. Now we need to divide 18 by 3. For that we need to check the table of 3. So the table tells us 3 6 or 18. So write 6 in the numerator and 18 here and then draw a line then subtract. So we get the answer as 0. So how many donuts did each group get? So each group got 16 donuts. So the quotient will be an answer. Now we will see another one example. Here they have given 634 books were packed in cartoons containing 20 books each. How many will be packed and how many books left? So, now we need to write the statement for this. Here they have given 634 books were packed in cartoons. So, number of book is 634. In which containing 20 books each. So number of books in each cartoon is 20. So we are going to find the how many will be packed. So how many cartoons are packed. So the number of cartoons packed is we are going to divide it. That is 634 divided by 20. Let us solve this problem. First we need to write the division as like this. So here 634 is a dividend and 20 is a divisor. So for that we need to here 20 is a two digit number. So we are going to take the two numbers from 634 which is 63. Now divide 63 by 20. So for that we need to check the table of 20. So the table 20 tells us 23s are 60 and 24s are 80. Since 80 is greater than 63, we should not take that. So we should use 
twenty threes or sixty. So write this three in the quotient and write sixty below sixty three and then draw a line then subtract. So when we subtract sixty from sixty three, we get three. Now bring the next number four. Now we need to divide thirty four by twenty. For that we need to check the twenty table. So the table tells us twenty into one is twenty. Twenty two is so forty. Since forty is greater than thirty four, we should not take that. So we should use twenty one is so twenty. So write this one in the quotient and write twenty below thirty four. Then draw a line and then subtract. When we subtract twenty from thirty four, we get fourteen. So how many books were packed? So thirty one cartoons were packed. And then they have asked one more question, which is how many books were left? For that the remainder is always what is left over. So forty. Books will be left and packed. Now we will see another one example. Here they have given if six people have to collect rupees sixty, how much money should each person bring? So let us solve this problem. First we need to write the statement for this. So number of amount to be collected is rupees sixty, and then how many people? Number of people is six. So now we need to find how much money should each person bring. So each person should bring. For that we need to divide them, which is sixty divided by six. Now try. We will try to solve this problem. For that we need to write the division like this. Here sixty is here dividend and six is here divisor. Now we need to divide six by six. So for that we need to check the multiplication table of six, which tells us six one so six. So write one in the quotient and write six below six, and then draw a line, then subtract. So when we subtract, we get the answer as zero. Now. Next, bring down that next number, which is zero. Since zero is not divisible by six, for that we are going to write zero in the quotient. So the answer will be ten. So when we divide sixty divided by six, we get the answer as ten. So how much money should each person bring? So each person should bring rupees ten. Okay, students. I hope you understand this word problem. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please go and visit my YouTube channel at Gender Learnings Ninety One. Thank you.